Resistance Management School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Crop Life Canada. There's a number of reasons why herbicides fail to control weeds. And one of the easier things to rule out though is whether it's herbicide resistant. And we can do that by uh, testing it. A lot of the universities across Canada will do herbicide resistant testing uh, for producers. We certainly do that in Ontario. And it's about as simple as collecting mature seed and sending it in. But if I look back at the last 20 years of herbicide resistant samples sent into the University of Guelph in particular, 20% uh, of the time we can't process the sample because either the seed's uh, immature or there's no seed at all or we didn't get enough plants. And so I want to walk you through how do we sample uh, some of the common weed species here in Ontario. So let's take a look. So this is common ragweed. It's a species that gets sent in a lot, but often we can't process the sample. And that's because if we look at the inflorescence, so the flowering head, here are all the pollen tubes. We often get people clipping them off here, sending us in this part, but it's all pollen. There's no seed there. All the seed is located directly below the pollen tubes. So you see there, there's all these clusters of seed. And you can see even there in that look, you see the mature dried up brown pollen. Early in the year, that would be yellow. And again here, that's the pollen tube. Below is the seed. So this is a nice snapshot here, long pollen tube. That's often what people sent in. I don't want it, it's just gonna give us allergies and everyone's gonna sniff in the lap. This is what I want down here. Now, is it ready for harvest? So that's where I pick off a cluster. To me, it's pretty green. These are like kind of almost crown shaped seed pods. They should be uh, brown and, or black in color. These are still very much green. So these are immature. So if you send these in to me, uh, they're not gonna germinate. So we're still probably another two to three weeks away from having good seed to process. And about 10% of the seed's gonna germinate the first year. So we need a lot of it. So grab as many plants as you can, but you can leave this stuff out. I don't care about that. I want that right there. That's the stuff I want. So this is common lamb's quarters. It's a lot easier to uh, sample. You know, effectively, these are all seed heads. So you can clip off as much of this as you want and it's all good. The, the bigger challenge is, is when is this seed mature? So today here looking at it, it's very green. So one of those quick and dirty things you can do is just take a few off roll it up in your hands. There's the odd mature seed there, but the majority of it's still green. It's more, likely, more or less like thrashing weed in the field, right? Yeah, grab some, roll it in your hands. If there's a lot of mature seed, it should brown out or blacken out like that. That's what we want. Um, right now, so this is, we're still another couple of weeks away from this being good. So going back to the plant itself, you can grab as much of this material as possible, it's all good. It's just usually people send this in when it's too immature. So as I showed you, when I take this off here, I roll a bit of it in my hand. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seeds. Um, if I had waited another two weeks, I'd probably have about 50 seeds here that we could process. So it's, it's less work for you if you just wait a, a couple of weeks and let, let it get to more of these little black seeds there. So that's common lamb's quarters. So pigweed is probably the sample we process the most. It's, it's the easiest to collect. I mean, effectively any of these spikes um, contain seed. Uh, usually to be efficient, just clip the top, you know, four or five inches. And you just basically, kind of same thing, you can grab a bit of it in your hand here, squish it around, do the old weed chaff thing. And notice there, there's a mixture of black seed and there's even some kind of reddish to light brown seed. Uh, what you want to see is a lot of this black seed. Um, if you see more of that kind of reddish light brown seed, it's, it's not mature yet. So that, this actually here, we could sample this today. Um, I'd probably wait a little longer because there's no harm. It was kind of tough to thrash. Like I got to work hard to get that out of there. Uh, no harm in letting it sit for a couple more weeks, but that's kind of what you want to look for with pigweed. The grasses are very easy to sample because they have obvious seed heads and it's not like ragweed that can be a bit confusing. It's not like there's multiple branches like lambs, quarters or pigweed. So this is a foxtail species, but you notice here actually a lot of the seeds already dispersed. It's not saying this is a bad thing to sample. It's actually, this is probably a good time. 
I'm gonna squeeze, process those samples here. And again, you wanna see, you see in my, the palm of my hand, we see some green uh, seeds. Those aren't likely to germinate. It's those kind of uh, charcoal gray to dark seeds that we want. But actually this would be, if you had seed heads like this and could process a lot of those, um, that would be good. Um, as opposed to maybe one like this here. See, you can even visually see on the, the inflorescence, there's still a lot of green seeds in there. And we can get some of those seeds to fall off, but we're still a little bit on the, the immature side. So again, this could stand to wait one or two weeks. So again, we're early fall with all these species, probably kind of mid to late September is, a, is usually a good time to start sampling for herbicide resistant weed species. So there's four species, how to collect seed. Make sure to grab uh, representative samples throughout the field and get as much seed as possible. The more seed you can give us, the better. We'll process it. It's tough when we don't get very much seed, just simply because keep in mind, seed once it it is mature it's not going to be a lot of, a lot of it's not going to be very viable the next season it has dormancy so the more seed we get the more likely we're going to have a good sample to process